Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. And in this video, we're gonna look at how to whiteboard your SharePoint sites. So what do I mean by that? So this video is particularly for people who are trying to figure out which SharePoint sites they need to create to match their organization. Now, I recently did a couple of videos about site structure specifically. And so if you wanna check those out, that describes the sort of background to the thinking behind this. But this session is gonna be about how I work with my customers to figure out what SharePoint sites we need to create. So the underlying principle to this is to think of your organization as a network of groups. I've got four bubbles or four circles here which represent groups of people that need to collaborate, so they need SharePoint. I've got IT, HR, sales and marketing. Your organization might look like this or it might have a bunch of different bubbles. But what I get my customers to do, first of all, is just draw bubbles on a whiteboard that represents the groups of people that need SharePoint. And because you put it on the whiteboard and it's an illustration, you can take a picture of it, you can share it with people, you can verify that it's correct. It's something you can socialize and make sure that everyone is on board with. The next thing I do is ask the customer whether any of the groups are going to need to be public or private. In Office 365, a public group is a group that anybody can join, and a private group can only be joined when the owner says so. If the group is private, I get the customer to put a little key on each of the bubbles. So in this case, three of our groups are gonna be private groups. You could also just put a red ring around the group as well, whatever works. So the next thing we need to do is understand which of the groups needs to share externally. Now, we can assume that everyone is gonna to wanna to share internally, but there's also the option to share with people outside of the organization. Some of my customers want to do this a lot. Some want to have a very closed environment. So what I do is I just ask them to mark up which of the groups need to have external sharing. In this case, we're gonna have sales allowed to externally share and also marketing. But the other two, we're gonna keep them closed. We don't want any external sharing. Now what tends to happen at this point is the customer goes away and they socialize this whiteboard. They show people who care about this and explain to them what they're planning to do. So for example, external sharing could be seen as a risk by some people. They may not want people outside the organization to see the content that marketing creates. They need a chance to review what's being planned and comment on it. And the whiteboard and illustrating the groups and SharePoint sites like this gives them a chance to do that. Rather than bury it in a, a lengthy report that no one will ever read, whiteboard it in this way and it gives people an easy way of understanding what we're planning. This is very flexible so you can add and take away groups as you see fit and it can also be built upon so you can start with private, public and external sharing and then you can add other things like Retention. So if you wanted to retain the work that HR does, you can add that to the mix as well and keep building it out as you go along. So it becomes a bit more of a process rather than an event. So anyway, that's how I work with my customers when we're whiteboarding our SharePoint sites. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you next time.